Amigos todos, cuando Francisco Pizarro decidió fundar Lima, lo hizo aquí donde estamos porque al costado había un gran río que era el río Rima. And so we're here with Force Trends, SPDA, Condesan uh, at, for this um, photo exposition. And let me show you what we have. So this year we're highlighting what's called the, uh, the root of water. So we were looking at where water comes from to get to Lima uh, and focusing not only on kind of the water that comes out of the tap, but really trying to understand where the water comes from and looking at, at the watersheds that need to be conserved in order to take care of the water resource. So here we have a row of panels and people can just come through and get to uh, uh, interact with them. So the first one, we have our colleagues from Forest Trends, Doris and Patricia, and they're uh, looking at um, how important it is to conserve water and make sure to turn off the, off the tap, especially in the case of Lima, which is uh, one of the largest desert cities in the world. Thank you. <laughs> um, then we come to uh, the panel that's focusing on La Artejea, which is the main water treatment plant for Lima. So we're looking at what are all of the challenges with water quality when the water actually reaches the city and how the treatment process makes it possible for uh, people who are living in the city to have clean water. And as we go up the watershed, then we start to look at what are really some of the, the reasons why the water quality is so bad and what are some of the challenges that the, the, the city is facing. And in this panel, people can talk about, um, can suggest what they think the, the river would say if it had a voice. And this uh, harkens to the name of the river, that's when the main river that supplies Lima is called the Rimac. And in the native language, it means the talking river. So here we get to the part of the root of the water where we're looking at natural infrastructure and why that's so important to make sure that we have a steady stream of quality water. Uh, and so we're looking at the different pieces of ecosystems that make up natural infrastructure. And we're looking at some of the challenges facing natural infrastructure in Lima. So land, use that's affect, land use changes that's affecting the ability of these soils to do their work and really be the sponge that this city in the desert needs. And so now we come to the last uh, panel and here's our colleagues Jimmy and Fernando who are uh, part of this last panel right now which is um, really kind of emphasizing uh, the part of the Rimac that starts all the way up in the glaciers at the top of the mountain. Um, so people coming to this exhibit will have a chance to go through and, and kind of look at the, the statistics uh, about each different part of the, the path that water takes on its way into Lima. Um, and they'll also get at some point in the week to do uh, experience the route itself in 360 virtual reality.